I know the movie's not that old, but I'm telling you, it's a classic already. Uh, Bleacher features 42, the movie about the great Jackie Robinson, April 24th, 8 p.m. Eastern, right here on MLB Network. Uh, the founder of Legendary Entertainment, the man that produced that terrific film, Thomas Toll, joins us now on MLB Tonight. Thomas, always good to see you. Your thoughts when you woke up on this day, on the 75th anniversary of Jackie Robinson breaking baseball's color barrier, what went through your mind? Just excited, excited to have the whole country and baseball world pause for a moment uh, to think about this man and this family uh, and, and what it means to this country and what his actions uh, brought forth. When you look back at your time making this film, what is towards the top of your list of what you came away with that maybe you didn't know going in? You know, uh, I had the privilege of spending time, a ton of time with Rachel Robinson, who's become a dear friend, and just the stories of the everyday things that they had to put up with. There were certainly the big moments that we depict in the film. And, and then thinking about what this man went through and asking him not to be him, right? Because he was hmm. a fighter. He was a fiery fight, you know, a guy who fought for every inch to ask him to not be him, then to go into the major leagues and play a position he'd never played before. Um, you know, I, I, just, I just think it's an amazing story. It's and a story I've been enamored with since I was a kid. You know, Thomas, uh, the, the interesting thing about that, too, is there's so many things you could have discovered, discussed with Jackie. You could have got into UCLA. You could have had him with track. You could have done all the different things. How did you settle on the part of history and his life that you did? Well, the key, I think the key for us, Brian, Brian Helger and our, our great writer director, we talked about this a lot. And the idea was this man, the scope of his life was enormous and you could have gone in every any direction, but we wanted to make sure that we had the time to really tell the story uh, of 1947 and that that time era to, re to really kind of drill down on that. Um, so that was the choice that we made. But you, you, you could make 10 movies about him. You know, the interesting thing, too, is, is Rachel. And she was around. You spent a lot of time talking with her on this movie. We've talked in the past. Um, kind of tell our viewers how pointed she was and how she made sure certain details were done right. Oh, listen, uh, I, I don't generally get nervous that much in my life for whatever reason. <laughs> when I sat down for the first time with Rachel Robinson, I was nervous because uh, she is as elegant uh, and sharp a, a person as you're ever going to meet. And she was very meticulous about reading the script. She wanted to make sure, frankly, that we named names and, and were, uh, you know, in, in incredibly accurate with everything. Um, and one of my fondest memories, uh, we were shooting the spring training scene, um, and I brought Rachel down to Georgia where we were shooting it and walked her out on the field on my arm. And first, Chad Bozeman ran over to her to give her a hug. And then slowly, because they were intimidated, the other players and the extras came over. And there was this huge crowd around Rachel, all in their Dodger uniforms. And it was just a moment I'll never forget. Well, to make it work, you had to have that centerpiece actor. How important was Chad? And how did you find him for this role? And I know he's passed on right now, but man, tell us about him and your relationship and how important he was to this movie. Well, he walked in basically as an unknown and uh, Brian and I both felt, I mean, he, he, his talent was undeniable. And so watching him work, cause he was a basketball player. So he worked his butt off uh, to get himself in shape because it was so important to him depicting Jackie Robinson to make sure that he carried himself and looked like a baseball player. But you just knew, you know, I remember saying to him early that, uh, you know, his life was going to change, not only after this, but you could tell he was going to be a star. And then a couple of years later, after he did Black Panther, we were laughing about it. And I said, I told you. And he he never <laughs> he never believed it. Um, I took him to Steelers practice with me one time. And I mean, the guys went crazy over him. Uh, frankly, I miss him very much every day. He was an amazing human being. People need to know Thomas Tull, of all the baseball fans I've met in my lifetime, 
is the most passionate baseball fan I have ever come across. That is the truth, man. We could go into details, which I'm sure you don't want to share, but you love <laughs> memorabilia. You love this sport. And by the time you decided to make this movie about a hero growing up that you thought about a lot, your production company was already full throttle. You were making hit after hit, Batman, Hangover. Every movie you made was a success. So you knew this was going to be big time. And because of your love for the game, knowing this was going to have staying power forever, did you have? Did you put more pressure on yourself to make this as great as you made it than any other movie you made? Well, look, man, it's one thing if you screw up Batman. It's another thing <laughs> if you don't do justice to Jackie Robinson. Um, and after looking Rachel in the eye and promising her we'll make the movie and we'll take care of you, that that's something that I took very, very seriously. Um, and the great Joe Morgan, uh, who introduced me to Rachel, uh, originally and sat down with me and said, this, this needs to happen. It, it's to this day, one of the most special things that I've ever been a part of. And uh, probably it was last summer that I showed the film uh, to my, I have twin 12 year old boys. Uh, and I wanted them to be old enough to really understand. Um, and, and watching that with them for the first time was incredibly special. Uh, it's, it, it is. And, and Tom said, we'll end it with this. I got one question for you. You know, I know Rachel was on the scene all the time. The movie's finished. It's playing. It's everywhere nationally. What has your conversation been with her since? What does she say? Uh, how does she receive it? Uh, man, she just, she loved it, which meant the world to me. Um, and that's that's what I cared about more than anything, that the Robinson family, that David and Sharon and Rachel and their wonderful family loved the movie. And, you know, later that year uh, at the at the Jackie Robinson Foundation dinner, when they talked about the film and they had this this amazing event and talked about all the conversations that had been started, you know, it, it's just again to me, this is not a baseball hero. Uh, Jackie Robinson to me is is up there with other American heroes that that selflessly cause change, and uh, I, I just uh, you know I, I'm indebted to him and his memory and his family. Thomas Toll, the producer of the great movie Forty Two, we can't thank you enough. Happy Jackie Robinson Day, my friend. Great to see you guys. Thank, thank you, bud. You.